Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit and crochet this little pullover sweater or baby jumper for baby boys and girls. It's super easy to make and absolutely beautiful, so I hope you like it. Now, the little sweater that we're going to make in the tutorial is for babies between 12 and 18 months, but you can make it smaller or bigger from 9 to 12 months and up to 2 to 3 years old. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern. Thank you so much for your support. To make this little sweater, I used exactly 167 grams of yarn. This is the yarn that I used. I used one strand of DK weight yarn with one strand of this super fine kid mohair. I love the end result. It's absolutely beautiful and super soft, perfect for the winter weather. Now, you can just use regular DK weight yarn or a ply or number three um, to make the little sweater. I just have a lot of this yarn here and really it doesn't affect the size that much. Um, so you can certainly just use one strand of DK weight yarn. Like I said at the beginning, you can make it smaller or bigger, so make sure to check the information box below. Okay, so let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Okay, to start and knit this little pullover sweater or baby jumper, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook to make the yoke. After we finish the yoke, I'm going to switch to 3.5 millimeter kneading needles and we're going to knit the body and the sleeves. Now at the beginning of the video I showed you the yarn that I'm going to use and I told you how much yarn you're going to need for the 12 to 18 month size. So here to begin I have a total of 55 chains. This chain here without stretching or anything is measuring about 12 inches which is about 30.5 centimeters. Now if you're off by one or two centimeters it's okay just continue. Now the stitch multiple to this base chain is multiples of two plus one. Here to begin into the second chain from the hook we're going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do one single crochet on each one of the chains at the end of this first row i'm going to have 54 single crochets continue i will meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of this first row i have a total of 54 single crochets for the second row chain two and turn now here at the beginning, I'm always going to be making these two chains, but the two chains never count. They're just there so that when we finish the yoke, this part here is nice and straight. Now, to begin for the second row, on top of the first single crochet here, make a double crochet. Into the second single crochet, make two double crochets. So this here is an increase. Again, into the next, make one and into the next make an increase. So make two double crochets. This is how we're going to continue for the second row. You're just going to make one, then two. One, two, all the way to the end. I will meet you here at the end of this second row to show you how we're going to finish this row and then continue with the third row. I'm here at the end of the second row. Now, here at the end, I have one last stitch left. Up to here, I have a total of 79 stitches. Now, into this last stitch here, I'm not going to make the increase. I'm just going to make one double crochet so that at the end of this second row, I finish with 80 double crochets. Now, for the third row, chain two and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now, into the second double crochet, this one here, make a front post double crochet. Into the next back post double crochet. Front post double crochet into the next. Back post double crochet into the next. And so on. So this is all we're going to do for this third row. Front post and back post double crochet. All the way to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of the third row. Now here at the end on top of the last double crochet make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the third row with 80 stitches. Now for the fourth row chain two and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet. Now into the next work a front post double crochet. 
into the next back post double crochet. This is all we're going to do. We're just going to repeat the same thing we did in the third row. Front post and back post double crochets. Continue like this, I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. Now here at the end on top of the last stitch here, make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the fourth row with 80 stitches. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now in this fifth row, we're going to increase into the next stitch here, make two double crochets. Into the next one, and into the next two double crochets. One double crochet into the next, then two into the next. Continue like this all the way to the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. Here to finish, I have my last double crochet. On top of this last double crochet, just make one double crochet. And this is how I finish the fifth row with a total of 119 double crochets. Now, from here on, these are the three rows that we repeat until we have the size for the yoke. So I'm going to continue here with the sixth row, chain two and turn. Now in the sixth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the third and the fourth row, which are the rows of front post and back post double crochets. So here, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now into the next here, I'm going to start this row here with a back post double crochet. That way, this part here evens out because in row three and four, I started with front post. In this row, I'm going to start with a back post. It really doesn't matter. You can start with a front post double crochet. The important thing here is that you make front post and back post double crochets. I'm going to start, like I said, with the back post to even this part out. And that's all I'm going to do here for the sixth row. Now, when I finish here, the sixth row, I'm going to make a double crochet on top of the last double crochet, chain two, turn, and then repeat the same thing. You're just going to work these stitches in the same way that you see them. If it's a front post, make a front post. If it's a back post, make a back post, and so on. So continue, finish the sixth row and the seventh. I'll meet you at the end of the seventh row. I finished row six and seven. This is where we did front post and back post double crochets. Now here at the end, on top of the last double crochet, I did a double crochet. Now at the end of both of these rows, we were going to have 119 double crochets. Now for row eight, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this eighth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the fifth row, which is make increases. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now into the next, make an increase, so make two double crochets. Into the next, one double crochet, and into the next, two. And this is all we're going to do. One double crochet into the next and into the next, make your increase. So make two double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this eighth row. I'm here at the end of the eighth row. At the end of this eighth row, I have a total of 178 stitches. Now, if you notice, I have changed yarn color. I'm going to continue with this light pink. Here's the other yoke that we were working on. I record two videos, one in Spanish, one in English. This is the Spanish tutorial and I already finished it. So for this one here, I use the same yarn except that it's in a different color. It's Style Craft Special DK. You can also use number three yarn or a ply. Uh, this here is in the color Soft Peach and I paired it with some of this kid mohair. Um, it's um, absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see how this looks. Now for rows nine and 10, we're going to chain two and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. We're going to make a front post double crochet into the second double crochet, back post double crochet into the next, and so on. It's exactly the same we did in the previous rows, front post and back post double crochets. 
Now you're going to do the same thing for row 10, chain two, turn, and then repeat the same thing. So finish these two rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished rows 9 and 10. In these rows, we did front post and back post double crochets. Now, at the end of each one of these rows, I had 178 stitches. Now, for row 11, we're going to chain one and turn. In this 11th row, what I'm going to do are single crochets and I'm going to increase. I need to finish this 11th row with a total of 192 stitches, so I need to increase 14 stitches. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make 11 single crochets then into the next which is the 12th stitch i'm going to increase so let me show you on top of the first double crochet make a single crochet that's one into the next a single crochet that's two three eleven and into the next make two single crochets and this is how we're going to continue for the 11th row again make 11 single crochets that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and into the next two and that's how I'm going to continue now towards the end just make sure you count your stitches and adjust accordingly here uh, towards the end just make sure that at the end of this row you end with 192 stitches so continue I'll meet you at the end of this 11th row I finished making the 11th row now here at the end I have a total of 192 stitches up to here I place my stitch marker this is where I did my last increase I have 182 stitches here and then I just finished by making these last 10 so that's a total of 192 stitches at the end of the 11th row that's the important thing make sure that you finish with 192 stitches now to finish this row we're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch here's the first stitch join like this now from here on we're going to continue with the kneading needles we did the yoke with a 3.5 millimeter hook so now we're going to continue with these 3.5 millimeter circular kneading needles now if you're making this any other size you're just going to continue with the same um, hook size that you started with so let me double check here yes yes 3.5 millimeter kneading needles we're going to continue now this part here um, which is this part here so we joined so now we're going to work I don't know four rows here of just knit stitch so now to continue here this is the wrong side so we're going to turn this like this on the right side the single crochet row was worked on the right side so this here is the wrong side of the single crochet which is fine so now just insert your kneading needle now we're going to pick up one stitch for each one of these single crochets so insert your needle into the next single crochet and grab a stitch into the next single crochet pull a loop into the next pull a loop and so on this is how we're going to pick up all of these stitches at the end of this row we're going to be left with 192 stitches here on our kneading needles so this is all we're going to do from here on this here is going to be the right side see how the row of single crochets shows through like this that's the right side so continue from here on just picking up these stitches so one stitch for each single crochet all around continue I will meet you at the end of this first row I'm here at the end of this first row this is where we picked up all of these stitches now one thing here up to here I have 192 stitches and if you notice I have one last space here now this stitch here that's the stitch that was left when we joined to the first stitch here with a slip stitch then we just put this on our needle so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick up one extra stitch here so now I have 193 stitches but what I'm going to do here to start the beginning of the row is I'm going to knit 
two together. And that way I'm not going to be left with a gap. So put a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row. And here to start, I'm going to knit two together so that when I finish this second row, I'm going to be left with 192 stitches, which is the number of stitches that I need. So there, we knit two together. From here on for the second row, we're just going to knit each one of these stitches like this. So continue all around for this second row. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. This is where we knit all around. Now for the next two rows, we're going to repeat the same thing. All we're going to do here is knit each one of these stitches and we're always going to have 192 stitches. So continue, finish two more rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these last two rows. So in total here, we have knit so far four rows. So what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the sleeves. Now I have a total of 192 stitches. Now for the back side, this here is going to be the back side. I have 58 stitches. So I have 29 stitches on this side and 29 stitches on this side. For each one of the sleeves, I'm going to leave 38 stitches. And for the front side, I'm going to leave uh, 58 stitches. So that's a total of 192 stitches. So here we're going to knit 29 stitches and then we're going to remove the stitches for the sleeve. So I'm going to show you here. That's one, two, Twenty-nine. Now I've knit 29 stitches. I'm going to remove 38 stitches and I'm going to use these um, plastic tubing. This is so much easier. So you just, um, this tubing here is hollow. So all you do is just insert it here into the needle and then you just pull You can also use some yarn here and just remove these stitches. So here are my 38 stitches for the sleeve. I'm going to put a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the sleeve. That way my stitches are not going to be twisted and I pick up back these stitches on the right side. Now we're going to divide the sleeve. So to do this, we're going to add three extra stitches here under the sleeve. So add one, two, three. Now continue on and knit the front. For the front, I said I have 58. So just knit, that's one, two, three, and so on until I have 58. Once I get here to this other side, I'm going to remove the next 38 stitches and then finish the front panel. So I'll meet you here to show you that part. Okay, I knit these 58 stitches for the front. Now I have the next 38 stitches for the second sleeve. So same thing here. I'm just going to use this other piece of tubing here. Just insert this on this needle and just pull up to this last stitch here where the stitch marker is. Now don't pull too hard. You don't want to lose your stitches here. Now place a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the second sleeve. And now we're going to add three extra stitches under the sleeve, just like we did for the first sleeve. That's one, two, three. Now continue and knit these remaining 29 stitches for the back side. Like this. 
Okay, so continue, finish this first row. I will meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. Now at the end of this row, you should have a total of 122 stitches. For the back side, there should be 58. For the front, 58. And under each sleeve, you should have three stitches. So that's a total of 122 stitches at the end of this row. Now from here on, we're just going to continue and knit all around the body of the little sweater. So all we're going to do is just knit. When you come here to the three stitches that we added under the sleeve, you're just going to knit each one of those stitches. So let me see if I can show you this right here. Let me see. Here's the last stitch for this panel here. And then we have the extra three stitches. So here all you do is just loosen it up a little here and just insert your needle like this and knit. That's one. Two. And three. And now just continue on for the front. And do the same thing for the other side under the other sleeve. And that's all we're going to do all around. We're always going to have 122 stitches. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but it's going to be just like this little sweater here. So we're just going to knit the body. Continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. And then we're going to do here the hem. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the body. Look how beautiful this looks. I love this yarn combination. It's so soft. Now, um, this part here, the body, I have done so far from under the sleeve to the end here. I have done so far about 52 rows and it's measuring about 18.5 centimeters or about 7.25 inches. You can make this longer or shorter, that would be up to you. So here, to do the twisted uh, ribbing, this is what we're going to do. We're going to knit one, purl one, but the knit stitches we're going to twist. So all you do is just insert the needle through the middle and as you can see, the stitch is twisted now the purl you just purl normal and then the next knit through the middle purl the next knit purl knit and purl and that's all i'm going to do here i think i'm going to do this for about nine rows or so and then we're going to cast off. Continue watching, I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So this is all we're going to do. Once we finish the row, we just repeat the same thing. We start with the twisted knit stitch and then purl, twist, purl, twist, purl, and so on. And you know what I mean by twist um, stitches. You just knit it in the center. Like this one here is a twisted knit stitch. You just knit through the center and it's twisted. So continue like this. Once it's done, it should look like this. It looks like a little braid. So I'm going to do about nine or 10 rows. Continue watching. I will let you know. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the hem. I did a total of 10 rows. If you want to make this shorter, then make less rows. Or if you want to make it wider, then make more rows. I've only done 10 rows here of the twisted ribbing. Now, to cast off our stitches, I'm going to show you here. We have the first stitch you're going to knit through the center. Purl the next stitch. Now bring this stitch over the second stitch. And that's how we're going to bind off. Now the next stitch, we're going to knit through the center to make it twisted. Now bring this first stitch over the second. The next stitch, purl. Bring the first stitch over the second. And this is how we're going to bind off. Very easy. Again, knit through the center and bring the first stitch over. Purl the next stitch, bring this stitch over, and so on. Continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm almost done casting off my stitches. I want to show you here what you need to do here at the end. Here's the last stitch, the last stitch I need to purl. Now bring this stitch over the last one. Now we have the last loop there. Cut a yarn, leave a little tail there. Now we're going to pass this yarn through this last loop like this. Pull it. Now with the yarn needle here, we're going to join to the beginning. So here's the first stitch. So just go through these two loops. There. Go through. Now we have the last stitch here. Insert the needle like this through one of the loops through the center. And now we're joined and that's how it looks. Now to hide this end, we're going to go on the inside and we can either go on this side or on this side. I'm going to go right here. We're going to go like this. There, pull a little and now we're going to go through the next row and the next row like this. Don't pull the yarn too tight. I like to go, I don't know, eight or nine rows here. And then work your way down in the exact same way. There. Now just go up once or twice and then cut your yarn. And this here is not going to come off at all. Perfect. Now cut the yarn and it's done. And that's how it looks. Perfect. So the hem is done. Let me show you how it looks. So now what we're going to do is the sleeves. So we're going to turn this over. So we're going to go here. This is the back side. So we're going to go here on the right side. So we're going to remove these stitches here. I'm going to use these here. These are so much comfortable to knit, but my other ones, these metal ones, they're both the same sizes. You knit so, so much faster. So that's why I use the other ones. So again, I have my cable tube here. So I'm just going to push my needle there and I'm going to pull this. And that way my stitches are now going to be on my needles here. Now, because we're going to knit the sleeves using the magic loop technique, I'm going to divide half here on one side and half on the other. So I'm just going to pull my cable there and finish pulling this other end. See? And now we can remove this. So now we can work on the sleeves. So for the sleeves, let's see. We're going to go right here, right in the center. We have these extra three stitches. We have one, two, three. You can see the columns there. Right in the center, insert a hook. Doesn't matter the size, just to pull this loop here. Perfect. And now we're just going to tie a knot. And I'm going to leave some yarn here. Sometimes there could be a gap here left once we finish the sleeve. So we're going to use this yarn here to close that gap. So I'm going to leave nice tail about that much I don't know 12 18 inches or so so now my yarn is right in the center so pull this needle and now we're going to work around so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add three stitches I'm going to start with one in the center then I'm going to do the next one and then right between this stitch and the first one for the sleeve I'm also going to make one so that on this side I'm going to have one two three once I finish 
this other side, I'm going to make two. So we're going to basically be adding five extra stitches, three in the center and one on both sides here. So to begin, insert the needle back into the same stitch here and just grab a loop. This here is the first stitch. Now go into the next row of stitches. So this here and grab a loop. Sometimes you have to use a hook. So just go in, grab a loop and put it on the needle. That's two. Now I'm going to remove the stitch marker. I'm, I don't need it anymore. So here we have our two stitches from the center. I still have one stitch left here on this side. I'm going to pick that up once I finish this row. So now I'm going to pick up another stitch. So I'm going to go right here and pick up this stitch. And then I'm going to knit the first stitch here for the sleeve. For the sleeve, remember we had 38. So now we're just going to knit all around. I'm going to knit the sleeve here in the round. So I'll show you how we're going to finish here. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing I'm doing here for the other sleeve. It's done exactly in the same way. There, turn. And knit the remaining stitches. Now I have 41 stitches, 38 plus the three that we did here, that's 41 stitches. Now we're going to pick up two more stitches here before we finish. So I'm going to go right here into this next row and I'm going to pick up a stitch there and I'm going to pick up the stitch here from the center. These are the three that we added when we um, did the bottom part of the sweater. So I'm just going to go here and pick up this stitch here there and now I have 43 stitches all around I'm going to continue with 43 stitches now for the sleeve okay we're going to knit this first stitch here and knit the next knit the next and so on so here all you're going to do is just knit all around you're going to be left with 43 stitches and then we're going to make a decrease um, i'm going to do a total of 16 rows here and then on the 17th row i'm going to do my decrease i'm going to be decreasing when i have about two inches left so every two inches or so i'm going to be decreasing so for me two inches is about uh, 16 rows so I'm going to knit 16 rows and then I'm going to come back and show you um, the decreasing part so I'll see you then I did a total of 16 rows now in the next row row 17 I'm going to decrease for me this here is about two inches so to do this this is what we're going to do we're going to decrease at the beginning of the row and we're going to decrease at the end of the row so that way at the end of each decreasing row you are decreasing by two stitches so here we're going to start with knitting two together and then i'm going to continue and knit all around up to the last two stitches So here I am going to knit two together. So we're going to knit two together at the beginning and knit two together at the end. And here is the first decreasing row. I'm going to place a stitch marker here. That way I keep track of my decreases. 
so here's the first decrease so now I'm going to knit another 16 rows and then make another decrease and so on so continue like this like I said we're going to make three decreases um, here on this sleeve that's what I did one two three we're going to do the same thing and that's how it's going to look so continue let's make these three decreases and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I'm almost done with the sleeve I did my three decreases so we did 16 rows and then on the 17th row we decreased and we repeated that a total of three times then here at the end I did my last decrease and then I just did three more rows so in total I have done 54 rows and it's measuring from under the sleeve to the end of the last row it's measuring about seven inches which is about 18 centimeters now what we're going to do next is the cuff now at the end here I have a total of 37 stitches I need to make a decrease here at the beginning or at the end I'm, I'm going to do it at the beginning here so that this part here works out just like this bottom part here and I'm going to do a total I don't know about seven or eight rows here uh, for the cuff so to do this here first we need to make a decrease that way we have even number of stitches so here I'm going to knit two together and I'm going to knit this through the center because we're going to do the twisted um, ribbing here so knit two together through the center there and then purl one knit one through the center purl one knit one through the center purl one and that's all I'm going to do here all around this is going to be the first row for the cuff. And like I said, I'm going to do a total of, I don't know, seven or eight rows. Continue watching. I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do. So this is all we're going to do. Now continue like this, knit one, purl one. Remember, we always knit the knit stitches through the center so that it's twisted here at the end you're going to finish with a purl and then you're going to begin again with the knit stitch or twisted knit stitch now with the decrease that i did here i have 36 stitches which is an even number which is perfect which is what we need here in order for this to work out knit one purl one so this is what we're going to do so continue let's finish this part and continue watching i will let you know how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row Okay, I did a total of seven rows here for the cuff, so now we're going to cast off. Now this part is done exactly in the same way how we did the hem. So we're going to knit through the center this first stitch. The next one we're going to purl. Now bring this first stitch over the second stitch. Now the next stitch, knit through the center bring the first stitch over the second, purl the next, bring the stitch over, knit the next, and so on. This is how we're going to cast off. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to start the second sleeve. I finished casting off my stitches. Here's my last stitch here. Just pass your yarn through this last loop, cut your yarn, and just pull. And now with one of these yarn needles, we're going to join to the beginning. Right here. Here's the first stitch, so just go through this stitch like this. There. And then here's the last stitch. Just go on top like that and come out to the other end. Right there. Now we're joined here on the inside. I'm going to go right here, this column here. Insert the needle through there into the next row, into the next, and so on. Cut your yarn. And the cuff is done. 
and that's what it looks like so the sleeve is done that's how it looks continue watching once the sweater is done I'll go ahead and give you the final measurement for the sleeves and everything else so now we're going to do the other side so we're going to go here around the front and we're going to come over here now we're going to remove these stitches same thing okay so pull this off and here we're just going to do exactly the same thing we did here for the first sleeve we have our 38 stitches we're going to pick up these three stitches in the center and we're going to pick up a stitch here on the side and on this side so that we finish with 43 stitches so let me start you off here we have our yarn So pull this needle, we're going to go right in the center, we have these three stitches, so just grab a loop here with the yarn. Let's do this with a crochet hook. So just grab a loop here. Insert your needle. This here is the center, and then we're going to go into the next one and pick up a, another stitch now make sure you leave a nice long tail here because there is going to be a gap left here so we're going to use this to close that gap i already did it here you can't really see it so that's what you're going to do if you see a gap so make sure you leave a nice long tail so again with a crochet hook go into the next see we have three stitches here so go into the next here and just grab a loop here pull it through make sure that this loop is knit wise there so now we have two stitches I have one stitch left here so I'm going to pick this stitch here when I finish the row now right in the middle between this first stitch here that I have on my needle and this last one that I just um, did right here right in the middle we have this gap so i'm going to go right here see this is that column right there and we're going to grab another stitch here now we're going to continue and knit around like this all around the sleeve we have these 38 stitches so i'm going to continue like this all around and then we'll come back once I finish knitting these stitches to show you how we're going to pick up two stitches here at the end so that we finish with 43. I'm here at the end of the first row for the second sleeve. I have 41 stitches, 38 plus the three that we did here, that's 41 stitches. Now we're going to pick up two more stitches here before we finish. So I'm going to go right here into this next row and I'm going to pick up a stitch there and I'm going to pick up the stitch here from the center these are the three that we added when we um, did the bottom part of the sweater so i'm just going to go here and pick up this stitch here there and now i have 43 stitches all around i'm going to continue with 43 stitches now for the sleeve Okay, we're going to knit this first stitch here and knit the next, knit the next, and so on. And this is how we're going to knit the sleeve. Now, you're going to do exactly the same thing we did for the other sleeve. We're going to make 16 rows and then make a decrease in the 17th row. And then again, knit another 16th and then a decrease in the next row. So for the decreases, remember we decrease at the beginning and at the end. So we decrease a total of two stitches on each decrease and we're going to do this for a total of three. 
and then you're going to knit three rows and then into the fourth row which is the row where we start the cuff you're going to begin with knit two together so that you have an even number of stitches here for the uh, cuff we have 36 stitches but before we do the decrease we have 37 so after all of the decreases we're left with 37 stitches so it's done exactly in the same way and that's how you're going to continue so finish the second sleeve and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making the second sleeve this is how it looks i did it exactly in the same way how i showed you this one here so the sleeves are done now we have to fix here the back so to do this here this is what we're going to do we're going to go along this side this is the back side so facing me the back side so this would be on the left side so we're going to go right here to the side where we have this row of single crochets so insert your hook into the single crochet row grab a loop here bring it through chain one and right into the same stitch here make one single crochet now here at the end we have a double crochet chain two double crochet chain two so into the double crochet rows i'm going to make two single crochets into the chain two make one and this is how i'm going to work my way up until i come to the neckline so here's a single crochet row let's see how many I have I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so when we do this other side make sure that you have sixteen now for the neckline right into this row single crochets again I'm going to make one more single crochet now around the neckline into each one of the chain stitches we're going to make a single crochet like this all around make sure that this corner here is nice I think with two single crochets is fine so just continue all around the neckline making one single crochet I will meet you at this other end to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these single crochets all around the neckline i have 54 single crochets if you have one or two stitches less or more it's okay the important thing here is that it looks nice and you don't have too many single crochets now to continue here we're going to uh let's see my where's my other yarn here going to make my last stitch here into this last stitch here right in the very corner I'm going to make two single crochets there now into the single crochet row right here make one And 16 into the single crochet row now for the second row chain one turn and now we're going to work our way up making single crochets so one single crochet on each one of these single crochets for the um, back side here And into the very corner stitch right here make two single crochets that looks pretty good now for the neckline we're going to chain three I'm going to skip one single crochet and into the next I'm going to make a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch now this is optional you can just continue make single crochets as well but this is going to give it a nice uh, look it's going to look like little scallops so let me show you here 
see that's how it's going to look all around the neckline so I will meet you at this other end to show you how we're going to add the buttonholes okay I finished making these chains around the neckline look how beautiful that looks so now we're going to work our way down this side and we're going to make buttonholes so here's my last single crochet which is at the very edge here of the neckline now we're going to make our first buttonhole I'm going to chain one skip one single crochet and into the next I'm going to make a single crochet now I'm going to work my way down and I'm going to make my second buttonhole I don't know halfway which is like right about here so I'm going to make let's see that's one two three four five six seven single crochets now I'm going to chain one skip one single crochet and into the next I'm going to make a single crochet and then just work my way down I'm only going to add two buttonholes now make sure that the chain that we did is big enough for the buttons that you're going to use continue watching I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use for mine so here's the last single crochet let's see how this looks okay so this is going to go like this I think that looks pretty good I'm going to cut my yarn here and pass my yarn through this last loop make sure you leave a nice long tail So this here all you have to do is just uh, with a yarn needle just go through the inside and secure this let me see if I can show you Just go in and out again and secure this to the other side along the single crochet row. Now there is no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that it looks nice and to me that looks pretty good. Now just pull the yoke a little bit so that this part here straightens a little and I think that looks pretty good. So. That's what I'm going to do, so I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, I finished with the back side. This is how it looks. I attached my buttons as well. The buttons that I used are these. These are 10 millimeter size buttons. These are flat buttons, and I purchased these from Hobby Lobby, so they are 10 millimeter size. I think you can even use 11 or 12 millimeter size as well. So this is the back side. The little sweater is all done. The sleeves and here is the front it's absolutely beautiful i love the way how this turned out now i'm so tempted to make myself one so stay tuned i may uh, need to make myself one it worked up super fast i think i did this in about two three nights of um, knitting with this beautiful cold weather here where i live so the little sweater is all done remember this is knit and crochet so you will have to know how to crochet double crochet single crochets and chains um, this part here is done with a 3.5 millimeter hook and then the rest here is done with 3.5 millimeter kneading needles so here's the finished little sweater I want to show you this other one here this here is for 9 to 12 months this one here is for 12 to 18 months but you can make it smaller or bigger just like this one this one it's done exactly in the same way the only thing here is if you can see there's a chain here that I weaved through the center here of the double crochet rows or the front post and back post double crochets which you can do the same with this little sweater i'm going to leave it like this this is a christmas present for my little niece so 
hopefully I'll get to take a picture of her wearing it and I'll share it in the community here on YouTube so that you all can see how it looks. So it's all done. I love how this yarn worked up. It's DK acrylic yarn with some of this kid mohair. Now let me give you the finished measurements. So from the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 32 centimeters, which is about 25 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches. Now the total length from the top of the neckline to the end here, it's measuring about 34 centimeters, which is about 13.25 inches. Now this measurement right across it's measuring about 13.5 centimeters, which is about 5.25 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little sweater is for baby boys and girls between 12 and 18 months. And like I said, you can make it smaller or bigger. Um, I'd say from nine to 12 months and up to two to three years old. So look in the information box below. I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. So be sure to check that out. And as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.